We're really excited to open up a new exhibit here at the Tennessee Aquarium. I'm standing in the tiny but mighty important gallery, which is a celebration of all the small fish in this region that may not receive all the attention they deserve because of their smaller size. Here in Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, and the southeast in general, we have more species of fish than anywhere else in the nation. But a lot of these fish are smaller in size, and so they may not have gotten the attention they deserve. Though these fish are small in size, they're really big in their importance to our environment. And they need the same things that we need as humans, which is clean water. So here in this gallery, we not only celebrate the small fish that we have, but we also call attention to the problems that they have in the environment and the simple changes we can do in our backyards to make a big difference for these fish. I think kids are going to be fascinated by the fish and the movement and the fact that they're, they look real and they're floating in space. Um, and then I think parents are going to be intrigued by the story. Um, and it opens up a great opportunity to talk about pollution and talk about our rivers and what we're doing to those rivers. Um, and I think it's a great conversation starter for that. While a lot of people think that water pollution may come from chemicals in our water, there's been a lot of changes in this country over the past 45 years with the Clean Water Act that have led to some really great changes for the fish and the animals and us. Unfortunately though, a lot of the small choices we make around our home every day are now causing water pollution. And one of the biggest problems of all is simply dirt. So here in this gallery, we talk about some simple changes you can make around your home and ways that you can engage with a political process to make sure that we keep dirt out of our rivers and on the land where it belongs.